Moving on to the next stance turn and drill, what we're going to do this time is I'm going to introduce the Wing Chun guard hand positions. Just before we, we move on, just want to explain something which is very important. Once we come and establish the stance, this is only, you know, th theory. Wing Chun's really um, all about triangle shapes. If we were to establish the triangle shape in front of the body, I want you to try and imagine that anything on the outside would be deflected, okay? So we're actually um, using this triangle position to defend our center line, okay? If I was to turn to the left, if someone was at this side of me from here when I turn, the idea is to exclude them on the outside of the triangle shape. If I was to return again to the front, the same thing would apply. Okay, okay. okay wing chun guard. Once you've established your stance, triangle shapes, sink the elbows, and then you're forming the guard hands. The first guard hand is called Manso. Ideally, you have a finger and thumb stretch from here to here, and that should be at this point. Okay? The second hand, Wu So, from here, is fist distance from the body with the fingers pointing straight up. Okay? Both hands are held on the center line. Okay? Triangle shape, sink the elbows. Manso, Wu So. On the stance turn and drill, when you turn, again, check, you were in this position. When you return with the right hand, splice forwards. Again, you can turn this, this distance. Turn to the right, again. It's always good as beginners, you know, to check that you're in correct structure. Correct structure is very important. And again, splice. Okay. I'll show you from the side view. I'll explain the stance a little bit more in detail. From this position, okay, when I turn to the left, I've actually now formed what you call jongma or fighting stance. This in Wing Chun terms will be termed our left fighting stance. Okay. Characteristic marks of uh, points on this would be fist distance between the knees, okay, both feet pointing in, hips and shoulders square on, most of the weight on the rear leg so you could kick at ease. Now remember, the importance here is if You've got a fist distance between the knees and the toes pointing in. If someone wants to try and kick between the legs, okay, you've got it covered. You're also protecting the inner shin as well. Obviously, bad idea here and here. Very poor structure. Okay? This is what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, can I borrow you one second, please? I'll explain the stance turn and drill with use of a pot. Thanks. Uh, Ching. If he goes into his ready position, Okay, tell you what, if you just form your triangle shape from there, okay? Taking this step, step further from what I said earlier, there's his triangle shape. Okay, so it's hard to get through the middle. Now, remember, the guy isn't doing this. I tried the block. He's maintaining the centre line. It's very difficult for me to get to the side on the, on the attack, yeah? If he goes to his guard hand position. Yeah, same thing. Watch when he does a splice. Okay. Yeah, very difficult to get through. Like I said earlier, this is all important from here. <music> to summarize from video number one, we covered three hand techniques. We did the Wing Chun short punch, we covered the body punch, and we also covered the extension punch. What I'd like to cover today is three open hand techniques. The first one is called Chon Sao, which is a throat cutting hand. When we do this, the emphasis will be similar, you know, to the, the punch, 
going to use the wrist against snap. So the first one will look like this, chon so, throat cut in hand. The second one we are going to cover is a palm up chop, an inverted chon so. Okay, first one with the palm down. This time the strike will be with the palm up. Very much, you know, same as the punch, pull back, but it will be like this, under the strike. So we have a chon so, throat cut in hand, like this. Turn them over and invert a chance out. Now the third one we're going to cover is whisking hand or fax out. This movement will go from here and strike out to the side. Right. What I want you to appreciate here is from the punching techniques, uh, we can use various hand techniques such as the chance out, inverted chance out, etc., to complement them. There's certain techniques that will work well together. For example, you could throw a punch, then it might be a chance out, then an inverted, then a punch again. They'll all work hand in hand. What I'll do is I'll bring Matt out to the front and I'll give you an idea exactly what we, you know, we're trying to achieve. So, Matt, if I could uh, come out to the front, please, for me. Oh, that's good. And chain. Okay, what we'll do, we'll go through it practical. If Matt didn't do anything, his Wing Chun guys, remember, were training to punch from the middle. So if he doesn't do anything, the punch would be and hit. Okay, nobody's going to be stupid enough to just stand there and freeze. He's going to get some kind of reaction. Okay, and Wing Chun would allow for this. Yeah? So if I was to do it slowly, if I was to throw a punch, Matt's natural reaction is obviously he's going to throw the, the hand up to defend. Okay, first movement. Okay, now going back to what I said earlier, the hand techniques can complement each other. Okay. What I can do from here, see I strike the windpipe using this movement, so that one again, if I throw a punch, hand comes up, strike. Again, notice this king snap, striking the windpipe from here. If I wanted to add the third movement, invert the chance out. See how they work well together. Watch again as an example, if I throw a punch, chance out works well. Now chance out, see how awkward it would look as a third movement, so this one actually works better in uh, coordination with the other one. Putting the three together again. Punch, chance out, invert a chance out. Good. Right. Now let's say the guy has blocked the first one, he's still got this hand, his natural reaction is he's going to throw the second hand up. So done slowly, throw out a punch, blocks. Okay? Now see how we've ended up in a wing chun trapping hand, and there's the strike at this point here. Okay? Now if we want to use a punch again, we could use Dai Bong So and punch. Again, so slowly, first one, second one. Third one, fourth one. 